G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jean Boodle, and welcome back to 7 Days, and welcome back to the blizzard, the frozen world that is really harsh, but somehow, someway, we've made it all the way to yet another horde night, that's happening tonight, I've got my baker friends, and I'm back in my main base, so at the moment, everything's kind of okay. Speaking of things being okay, but let's have a little gander at you. That's the wrong workbench. This one instead, crucible. Finally, a crucible. After so long and so much hard yakking to try and find one or get the books to get one, I finally have the end game forge thing. Ad addition mod, whatever you want to call it, forge tool. Says it right there. Finally have the end game forge tool so I can actually start cracking on, making myself all the steel that I've ever dreamed of. Let's just go like 200. I guess I need some more later on. Some more iron or something. Fill you up with a whole bunch of fuel. 20 minutes of. Perfect. One more actually. There you go. Right on the button. So good. I've been looking for that for so bloody long. I haven't a scra scavenge and scrounge for any piece of steel I could possibly find. But now I can just make my own. And come to think of it, now that I can make my own steel, that opens up so much more of my weapons crafting. I can make a tier 5 steel sledgy. My auto shotgun's already a tier 6, but I can make a tier 1 of you anyway. What else is there? Can I make a better crossbow? I don't think I've got many crossbow books. Crossbow. Can't even make a tier 1, so never bloody mind, but I can make a steel axe. I don't have the steel to make both, but I will bloody soon. So I'm going to go whip up a steel sledgehammer. Ready for Horde Night tonight. Steel sledgy. Whack you on first. In fact, hang on. I, cra I crafted these with the wrong goggles on. Cancel you. Make 200 or so with that. Save so much time. That's why the XP goggles are so good. 10% savings. I do need to as well. Oh! Oh, you know, I forgot. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, I actually did some planning and thinking ahead and made myself a shitload of gunpowder. Four stacks of it, if you don't mind. And I've got enough left over to whip up another insane amount. If I chuck all of them in, I, even 100 frames isn't nearly enough to make all of that that I need. All right, you know, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it for how much do I need? I need 180 minutes. No, I don't. We're in the wrong goggles again for some reason. 162 minutes. Done. Done. Mix up that for me. It's going to take what? What's that? Almost three whole days of crafting to get it sorted. But doesn't bother me. I'm going to open up two of you. And to see how many shotgun rounds I can make. Because I need those for Horde Night tonight. Box of shotgun shells. Six of those. Absolutely. Oh, it's all. It's all coming up. Josh House. I've got these stacks of bullet tips as well that are made out of lead. I'm going to take you with me. I could... If I scrap you, I'm going to get 1,500 lead back. But if I just, like, smelt you into the forge, I think that would give me more lead. Oh, that's... I don't want to burn... Don't want to smelt down my ex... My, my looting goggles. Not at the moment. Thank you. Not as good as they once were, but that's all fine. If I chuck you in, I can smell some lead, and that's going to make me some buckshot, please. Get you on the on the crow. That's all I had enough for. Pitiful. Well, start smelting the lead. I'll come back for that later. I need shotgun rounds. I can't run my auto shotty without shotgun rounds. The tier 5 sledging is now done, so I can grab you. Quickly change over. I do want to have a bit of a squeeze at what the difference in stats are, though, before I commit. So you're doing 76 and 145 for a cost of 40. Oh, for, uh, for a second I was looking the wrong way. Okay, yeah, nah, it's definitely better. Better by six on both damage stats. Flip over to that one. Modify you. Still no extra mod slots, which is a shame. I wish that the tier fives and sixes still had the extra one compared to the fours and threes, but is what it is, I suppose. You can go in there for later. You're worth a cheeky thousand dollar reduce almost. That's pretty bloody spiffing. I might wait. Ooh, nah, it's going to take too long, actually. I mean, this will be fine. This will be fine. I've got the bakers over here anyway. They have limitless ammo. That'll be fine in the tier 5 infestation. Let's go do it. One last thing before I leave. It's going to take too long to craft it. We're going to whip up a tier 5 steel axe. The last of the steel tools I need. You're not done yet. I'm just... I'm just, I'm just so small. I'm in such a good mood today. Knowing that I finally have the crucible. I have the steel production. I have the weapons production. I have the conquer production. Everything I could possibly want is being made. Which I think is pretty bloody bonzum. All the way down. 
onto the hay bales. No hurt, no whammies, no nothings. Straight back on the bike and out of my garage. I did actually do a fair bit of work on the exit to this place last night. Fling her about and straight up and out we go. Look at that, nice and clean. I've got the barrels down, sweet air coming out of there too. I really like it, I really like living here. It was always going to happen. I was always going to get attached to my base, but I'm definitely attached to this one. Oh. Oh, hold on. Hold on. There's a baker. There's a baker. What are you rolling with there, champion? You've got a pistol. Oh, he's just looking for books by the looks of things. Oh, no. Bow. Bow move. Brian. G'day, Brian. How are you there, champ? No, no, no. Come back. Come back. Come back. I know you're murdering stuff at the moment, but I need to... You've got a vendetta. I need to, I need to hire. Come here. Interested in hiring you. $2,200 redos. You're more expensive than the other ones put together, but I can replace that pistol with an M60. Yeah, go on then. Yeah, go on then. Look, I'm going to quickly run back home. I know I was on the way to do a mission, but we've got a new Baker, boy. We've got Bo, Baker, Ben, and Brian. The alliteration is making me happy. What a day. What a day. How could I take the smile off my face? This is perfect. Here you go, Brian. Welcome to your new digs, wherever you've gone to. Hang on a second. I need to actually get him up here. Can't welcome him without him being in the building. There you go. G'day, Brian. That's a lot of bakers. That is a lot of bloody bakers. Where are you? Brian's at the back. What do you want here? What do you want, champ? I've got... You can't have the lever action rifle. Actually, you've got a pump shotgun. Oh, it's got to be the M60, doesn't it? It's got to be the M60. Where are you? You're hanging out at the back. Don't worry, mate. Don't let the other bakers intimidate you. This is as much your house as theirs. I just heard a scream. Uh, weapons menu. Can you please use... No? Master, we are not alone. Yeah, nah, cheers. Use M60. Okay. Look at that. Oh! What the fuck are you doing up here? How did you get in my house? You fucking what? I've got the shakes. I've been cursed by the screamer. Thankfully, my bakers were there to protect me. How did you get up here, though? You shouldn't be able to use this ladder. In fact, now that... You know what? Now that I've got the garage, I'm going to start getting rid of some of those. Definitely break that pathing. How did she get up here? How did she get up into, into my house? This place is supposed to be secure. Maybe if I closed a door or two, it might be. But while I'm here and while I'm shaking, I'm going to open up a stack of shotgun shells. The rest of you can actually just go into the weapons box. Right. Okay. Well, now, now I've got Brian with the M60 and two shotguns and the SMG. I hope we're pretty good to go uh, again. This time for realsies. I don't know. Unless there's more bakers out there. If more bakers want to show up, I'm more than happy to throw all of my money at them. Maybe that's why the screamer showed up. She heard about the sea of mustaches and had to come see for herself. The fort was supposed to be raining. Should be just up this little incline here. In fact, I'm close enough for the marker to pop in. Just over to the left. So, this joint then. Can't get to the landmines because they're underneath all the snow, which is very good for me. Though I have read that book, but don't want to lose my baker's legs to it either. There was, though, there was this. I mean, I suppose if I was this close, I probably would have seen, like, the smoke or the box or something for it by now, but I'll just quickly double-check and make sure I haven't left a cheeky drop out here from way back when. Mm, no. No, nah, nothing here. All right, no lackers, knackers. Let's go clear out the army base then. The numbers are red. It is horde night tonight, but I'm not worried. Not with my new Baker pals. Look at the squad. Look how many I've got now. All right, lads, this is going to get pretty wild, so I hope you're ready to rock and roll. Tickle that. Try not to land it in landmines. All the zombies may have spawned in. I'm not within the area. I know. Just relax. I need to quickly chuck out a campfire before I freeze to death. You, them, <laughs> hover around the fire, boys. Group hug for warmth. It's going to be a good day. There's the first few up in the top of the tower up there. One of you guys want to take it? Oh, Brian's going in there immediately with the M16. I mean, I barely even need to help. I'll just gonna help pick them off after you've already sorted them out a little bit. You guys weaken them and I'll take all the glory. It's the perfect setup for me. Huh? Didn't quite make it in. Ooh. Oh, it's this place. 
It's this place. All right, you guys get that going. I'm going to go get the loot upstairs. I have utter faith in the Baker boys. They're way too good for me to try and micromanage. They've got it sorted. They've got all sorts of sorted. Even, even Bazza getting cluttered a little bit is all over it. Before I go downstairs, I'm going to quickly pop a hole in this little tent over here. It's barely even a tent. It's definitely a bit more than that. So try and pop a couple of holes into some zombies as well. Can I see you? I, I don't even know what happened to my bolt then. I tried to sneak it through, but the game decided not going to happen. I think I heard dogs. I'm not sure where though. Oh my God. Who even needs bakers? I mean, I need the bakers. You guys definitely didn't hear that. Please don't run away and open a bakery somewhere. Your croissants are needed with me. Where I have the shotgun that I have. <laughs> it's, we are a force to be reckoned with. There might be a few more in this little tower over here. There is, before I go downstairs. There's your head. At an insta-kill. I mean, I've got a tier 6 shotgun you'd expect it to be. I saw you moving again. I thought you got back up, but now we're all good. Definitely gone. Where else will some of these zombies spawn before I go downstairs? I've done this bit. There's a bit of a divot here, which might be a burning pit, I think, if I have to remember from back when, but there might also be another little, like, shack on this side. Trying to, like, trying to find where the zombies spawn is a whole other thing. Am I right remembering there was something here? Looks like I might have been. G'day. Yeah, g'day. I say is. Down we go. I hope it's, yeah, I was going to say, it could be just the one. There's definitely more. Now nah, we're fine. We're fine. The shotgun will protect me always. Time is ticking away, so it's time to get down into the bunker down below. Here comes some of my bakers. Not all, but I can't wait for all of them. Open the switch. No. I've got a bad feeling about this, too. Especially since I don't actually have a good way to, es to escape from here, but I do have the trap set up the top with all the bakers. I will try and, oh god, I will try and hit the bigger and badder of them, in fact. Oh my frame rate, this might be a job for the full auto shotgun. Come on boys, get in there, sort them out please. There's all, what, four of these now. You should be able to take care of a couple of. We're good. That spider's getting in the way, I'll take care of that. I'll take care of you. There you go, there you go. A bit of a beating and a bit of a puddle of zombies, but we're fine. When there's that many and the frame rate starts chugging, it's really difficult to try and figure out what's going on. Uh, nothing else here, though. The fact the job is nice and done. Good. Let's get the loot and go. It's hard night tonight. Always check the infested cache first to see what it's going to give me. A couple of things, but always break it down for the steel. No steel out of here this time. In fact, I'm, really to do I'm not that desperate for it anymore. Jeez, that was almost a sentence. I'm not that desperate for steel anymore, so I can probably just break it down anyway. Scrap you for the brass. Don't need the, sto uh, the snow. A shotgun turret bundle. I mean, I have two of those already, and all they need is a couple of pats and a little bit of affection. Nothing really good in you. Break up a couple boxes and shake the big boy box at the end. Mo power electronics. Couple of books and something I can sell as well. You can go. In fact, you. You're the new boy. You can carry my burdens. Love your M60, but he has a bunch of other shit to carry. Did you think I was just going to give you a big gun and no responsibilities? Absolutely no chance. The last one is just the hardened chest. Turn off my headlock because it's glary. A book I haven't read. And time charges and some silver nugs. Well, I hope the reward I get from Jen for doing this quest is going to be good because the loot itself was a little bit lackluster. Although, <laughs> I'm not really sure what I was hoping for. I'm already at the point now in this, uh, with, like, where I have the Crucible. I have top tier weapons. Like, what am I really pining for? I guess maybe a better crossbow, but that's kind of about it. There's really not much left to want for. I'm going to bypass stopping in a home just for the moment to go straight to Trader Jen's and see what she's on about. See what she wants to give me for doing her dirty deeds. Well, I hope they weren't done dirt cheap because I would like to be paid for my hard yakka. Hopefully Jenny's got some deep pockets and not short arms this time around. Come on, Jen. Make it worth my while. Jenny girl, good news. I have yet another mustache for you to meet. How are you? The Dukes. I'll make the time. Oh, I've Don't got all in one place. some ju- Oh! Sure here. All right. I was having like some jukes, but not as many as I used to have. Another T6 auto shotty or a T6 military helmet. What am I currently rocking on me noggin? I've got a T3. Now that you have some money to spend, but we're running a ten percent off sale for the rest of I the day. I could give 
Um, who's who's rolling the auto shotty at the moment? Is it? I think it's I think it's Bo. I think Boz has got the auto. So I could give him a T6 auto shotgun. I mean, what's better for me? Keeping what's left of me noggin upstairs in one piece or arming my bakers to the teeth with an even better shotgun? It's hard to turn that down. I don't I don't think I can. Even a T6 military helm, like what's the advantage I'll get out of that? I feel like that's definitely gonna help me more. Alright. Alright, Jen, you've persuaded me. Your persuasion techniques are top notch. We always need someone to handle the tough job. No, hybrid, I don't like hybrid energy, if I'm being honest with you. It's not one of my favorite POIs, not by I a need long way. Who's willing to the Judy Witch is a pretty intense POI, dirty. too. In fact, it's Horde Night, and it's after midday. So, cheers, Jen. I've lost one of the bakers, so I think they waited to the outside like a gentleman. Cheers for the free T6 arm. You know what? It wasn't done cheap. That was a good bit of payment. Actually, you know what? I did get that shotgun turret bundle. Yeah, nah, cheers, Deeds. I did get that shotgun bundle out of the, the POI. So, if I use that at my horde base as my pigeon protection, as my AA, that would probably work out much, much better for me. Jeez, the frame rate struggles so much every time I come back here. Come on, Baker boys. Up the ladder we go. Follow me, please. So I can, I need to build some vulture protection at the base. I know that I have materials to do that. If I make that and then put the shotgun turret on top of that, aiming at the sky... They're not as good as the SMG turrets, not even close, really, but they should probably still do the job. Yeah, I reckon that's the best call. I reckon that's a really good call, actually. Top notch. So who's holding the auto shoddy? You, Bo, wanna come here, please? You've got nothing in you. Here, use this one instead. I promise you'll like it. You're still holding, but just in case there's a little glitch there, weapons menu, shotgun, use the auto shoddy. Nice. Bo uh, no, that's Benno. B uh, Byron? No, wait. Oh, it's Byron, not Brian. Oh, all right. Well, Brian, never mind then. I will grab all of that stuff out of you. Thank you very much. Uh, you can go there. Don't need the magnum ammo. Rest, you can come with me. You can keep your M60, though. Don't worry, mate. That's yours to keep. No, nah, let's betray me. Then I'll put it inside you. It's a shame I can't chuck mods onto the weapons that the bakers roll with. Because the reason, like, the Ben works as a fridge... He's built like a fridge, but he works as a fridge. Because every time you spawn in a baker, when I can put it back down again, it resets the status of the stuff in his pockets. That's how I understand it. Which is the same as the weapons. So the benefit I'm getting by not having my food freeze is the detriment I'm getting by not being able to mod out the baker's weapons. Now, I'm not sure if that's going to get patched in the future. I assume it might because, like, it's obviously obviously an oversight with like the food and stuff and it's really exploitable by muppets like me so that'll probably go away at some point but for now um you have to roll with the punches the good and the bad please give me my concrete i'll take that one leave one behind leave one behind and i do have a bit of wood out there i think but i'll just double check it actually take the concrete with you please lots more concrete to get out of you and i probably could even start to consider it's a lot of concrete consider taking some steel to maybe upgrade some blocks into steel from concretes that may not be a terrible idea hmm i'm not sure about it though make sure i grab those boxes of shotgun rounds you can come with me i have my tier 5 steel axe on me ready to go probably put the shotgun away so don't break your own boxes you muppets you can go in there uh, shotgun rounds come with me. 762 rounds come with me. I can't sort because it'll move these things out of the bottom where I have them nicely stacked. Uh, oh. No, I do have crossbow bolts. That's fine. You guys all come as well. I will actually need much more shotgun rounds for the shotgun turrets. That's why the SMG turret would be so good. I have all this 9mm ammo doing absolutely diddly squad. Bang them into a turret and actually making use of them would be so much better. Before I run away, I do need to quickly change over my axe to my better axe, which is better in every way. Lots more block damage too. How useful it'll actually be in practice, I don't know, but it is the better one. And now, as good as I need, I need better than the T1 steel shovel, other than for... I don't know, just for looks, I suppose, but also for durability. So maybe... Actually, you can go get sold. So maybe I might actually make a better one now that I have the crucible. Didn't want to waste the seal on it before. Make sure I take the nail gun with me for better upgrades and repairs. And that... Oh, you can get sold too. I don't have got a better uh, rifle than you anyway. Sitting in here, so that's all good. Anything else I need to take with me at all? I don't super think so. 
I do need some repair kits for my bike, actually, so you can come with. Or you have repair kits for the horde base, so that's all fine. Um, just making doubly sure. I don't think really anything. I would love to bring some switches out there, but I'm just running everything as the main on and off switch anyway. Like, the turning the generator on and off, so that's all good. I'm actually trying to think it through this time. I don't think there's much that I need. I'll take some spares of you, because I have heaps of them anyway. And I think that's going to do us. All right. Well, come on, bakers. Come to the horde base. Look at all the friends I have. I've got five friends. It's un unheard of for me. Here is the base. Just pull up right next to it. Leave the bike there just in case I need it later. Quick little sizzle. Nice and warm. Okay. I definitely brought the shotgun turret, which is good. In fact, I'll open you. You come with your own stack of rounds. Love that for me. Thank you very much. There's actually two of them. Nice. Okay, so I think the plan's going to be the same as what it has been in the past. Put the bakers up in the cage, and I'll stand here and fire down at them with the power of the shotgun. That worked really well before, and it should hopefully work really well now. I wouldn't mind upgrading you to be an iron an iron set of shutters. Actually, than the wood. That's all fine through there. Still got the electric fences. In fact, how are you guys doing? I can trade you out for that one now. You can go there. You're a bit worse for wear. That one's completely gone. I think I should have a spare one to rebuild it, but I never realized I got broken. When did that happen? I'm going to put down my bakers first. Just, ooh, just to make sure it's all hunky-dory up here. You guys are definitely seeing the better days. Make sure all the blocks are right as rain too. Got to protect the bakers. They're protecting me. Someone's got to protect them. I'm too inept, so the building has to do it instead. You're all good all the way along. Most of the stuff at the back is just a little bit tickled and not too bad at all. Make sure you guys are fine. Yeah, we're all good. We're all good. Okay. You can all get out of the way. You too, please. Get all of my baker boys. Uh, yeah, right there. And real quick. Oh, but doing this means they do kind of run away from me. Okay, hang on. I have a better idea. Make sure that you're in prime posse right here. And instead of standing where you're standing, stand where I'm standing. Why? 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 No. Come here. Why do you keep trying to climb up there? There's nothing up there for you. I think the better route has to be to put them down where I want them like that and immediately, very quickly, say where you are standing so they have no reason to ever take any steps ever. You can go there. I mean, it's not... Ooh, okay. He took a step back from me. Say where you were standing. So you're kind of inside Baza. That's all fine. Try to get the same going on the other side. Just got to find space to actually put them down, like you. Couple steps back. Perfect. Stand where you were standing. I mean, that'll work, right? They can shoot through there. There's going to be lots of zombies coming their way. That's a, that's a pretty serious amount of firepower that I don't have to actively control. That's sick. That's all sorted. I mean, I can get through the Horde just with that, but I'm also going to want to uh, make sure I get rid of all of these spikes here. As much as it kind of sucks to get rid of them, I do have to replace them with an actual wall to put the um, put the shotgun turrets on. I'm getting a little cold. Please warm up just that little bit. All right. Let's get rid of them. This does give me an opportunity as well. I might need to run home and get some forged iron, I think, because I could now build a proper, like, protective little cone around myself, some walls to actually stop all of the cops and stuff from vomiting at me. It will make it more difficult to, like, kind of get the pot shots out when they're out there, but it'll save, like, you know, this getting destroyed or random vomit coming through from the backside because they won't have me to aim at. I do have some of you. How am I going to build it, though? I need to go back home and get myself the, um, like, some more, uh, iron to make doors and things, but if I just go... Like, attach, ooh, but attaching it to some pretty already weighed down supports might be risky. In fact, speaking of, I should really check how are you guys doing. You're fine. You're fine. You guys need a little bit of love. Um, yeah, okay. I need to go get some iron. I need to make sure those guys are tippy-toppy form. I can't risk that getting destroyed. Just nice and quickly, if my baker's back out there, I'll grab just like half of you because those pillars downstairs ooh, just needed... Yeah, okay. Just needed the scrap iron. Take the forged iron. I'll also grab some of you. Because I think if I make those ladders steel, it's always risky because I make them like the barrier too good. It means that the zombies will just go a different route. They won't actually come to see me the way I want them to at all. So I can't like really overload it, make it way too powerful. But maybe making those ones steel, if I'll leave... 
Who am I kidding? I'll leave like most of you here. I don't need to bring that much steel with me. I can do... I'll, I'll go for six. I'll go for six steel blocks. There we go. That'll be enough for it. You can hang out here. Let's go back out then. So all the ammo on me. So we to run the shotgun turrets. Oh, 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 there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. But at least I know that for the most part, those bakers will take care of me. I think I'll just go something simple and just kind of attach it onto the side like you. Doesn't have to be all that much. Just really something to block the cop vomit. You go like that. I want to go all the way across and attach it to that side. So you're attached on both ends. Across to you. I will need to uh, get down a little bit so I can run the same underneath. Ooh, I can actually reach through these bars. I didn't think I could, but that works out fine. As long as they can't see me, I'll be nice and safe, which I'm standing here. Oh, they still kind of can from both sides. All right, hang on then. Hang on then. Up, oh, back over we go. Going to go one block further down. I just really don't want this whole structure to collapse. If this goes down, I'm going down with it. So with that side done, I need to do the other side as well. This one was going to be the main issue, so I'm kind of happy that that one's at least sorted. Oh, it's quarter past seven. There's, <laughs> with the ominously timed thunderclaps as well. There's always, I always feel like I'm running out of time at the worst moment. It just, it's how it always seems to go. I'm going to go like you. I don't need much space in here. Why can't I put something in you? Because there's a silly little pole down there from a structure I built a thousand years ago. You. That's the wrong thing I wanted to break. That one instead. One more hit. Nothing collapsed. Perfect. Fix it up like that. So this is going to be where I'm going to put like the shotgun turrets and things. I could probably get rid of those ones as well. Yeah, I reckon I will. I reckon I will. If I make it up to here, I've got bigger problems anyway. You're not really helping me now. So this is all nice and secure in here. There's some little windows around, but it's, I can't go and break a 10,000 block of stainless steel to try and fix that. Uh, I need to attach this onto the side. That is where my lights are though. What if I just block the view then? If I don't worry too much about most of that stuff. In fact, I can probably get rid of... Oh, are you attached? How are you attached? Are you attached underneath? I think you might be. You are. Good. Okay, so I can get rid of you. Replace you with a more solid block of concrete. That'll block up that whole window. And I think that's going to be so much better. And then with the, both the turrets combined up the top. Still got the lights. Still got... I need to put the electric fence back down, actually. Yeah, okay. I think we're okay. I'm, I'm trying to see what's going to happen. And even with all my eyes, I've got zero foresight. So I just have to kind of hope. I still want more protection, but I don't want to block the light. So I'm going to chuck in some plates on the side like you. If I can probably just go to there and then use that one. Actually, no, that's silly. Don't overthink it, Josh. For the once in life, please don't overthink it. You, you. And then we can go back to like the regular full blockies over here. That can go like that. It's not quite as low as the other side. Oh, in fact, no, I still can't do it like that. Okay, we're going to have to go one block further down, still using the plates. I just don't want to make it all dark on me. Excuse me. Perfect. That goes along like you. I'm going to get enough visibility block from that that I should be safe up here. Okay, it's half past eight. I need to do all the upgrading. You come with me. I also have the shutters for you, so you're now ironed up and looking lovely. Perfect. Something... No! Damn it! Fuck. All right, well, commit to it. That's going to be steel. That can be steel. That can be steel. And that'll do, actually. Bonds, mate. Level 69. Nice. I've got five skill points to spend, but I'm wasting steel. DD, come Great in. To Great to see you too. Hold on. So that's what I don't waste it again. Idiot me. In fact, if I'm doing a bunch of upgrading, I've got an hour to go. Oh, I've got an hour to go. All right, I'll do that after. I'll do that after. You come here. Um... I mean, I really only need this for AA stuff, don't I? So I'm going to put you like that and put you like that. Um, you're going to need ammo as well. You, there's a stack. You should need more than that one, I wouldn't think. You can have a stack as well. Lock that one up. It'll go run some power to you. And I just need to aim them up at the sky. Whitesell, thank you. I'm going to go straight from you. That one to that one. Perfect. Thanks. We'll line them up. We'll get them good. Look at the bakers. The bakers are all ready as well. Oh, it's, all, it's all coming down the last couple of seconds. How does it always happen like this? There we go. The turrets are all set, so we're good there. I need to run. Oh, I've got my electric fence. Got my electric fence. Hold night box. No spares. Spares. Just need the one. Thank you. I was going to say, I usually have spares for most of this stuff around. I just forgot where I put it. 
Round we go. In we go to you. Uh, quick, 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 quick. Grab that one. And you can go advanced rotation, please. Get to stuck up on the side. Come on. Fast up. Don't have time for this. Oh, uh, which level is it on? It's on that one. Nice. Perfect. And we're going to go from you. Thank you. To you. Electric fence is back in play. All right. Get out of my way, please. No. Do you can't. You. Got to try and upgrade. Got to try and build everything. Nice and fast. I should, get, I should get the learning list up. We're building to concrete. It's worth so much XP, and I think it's going to come in handy. You. Oh, it's in Ben. Benno. Benno, quick. Benno, quick. Where are you? Which one are you? Ben, there you are. Show me inventory, please. I'll drink both of those. I'll take that, take that one with me. Thank you. Chuck in the gumbo stew as well. Take some coffers with me. All right, boys. Good luck. I'll see you in a bit. Nighttime has fallen. I've done as much of the upgrade as I possibly can all the way through. Got a fat chunk of XP. Down we go. I'll continue on down here. The zombies are on their way. But we're going to have faith in the bakers. The bakers haven't let me down yet. I don't think they're going to now. Just focus on this. Don't get distracted by the zombies and the beautiful people next to the catwalk there in Zoolander. Up goes you as well. Bakers are doing lovely. And while those guys are dying, actually, I'm getting a juicy XP out of it as well. I am just worried it's nice going to be the night that, like, the horrors of Winterween show up during the Horde night, not just regular zombies. But look, we've got a bake with an M60 up then. Surely it's going to be fine. Piss off, please. A little bit busy, Nance. I'm building. I am just straight up building stuff and not fighting the Horde at all. I mean, I've got all the materials. I may as well use them. I've burned through almost 2,000 concrete already. Oh, the game's chugging. The game's chugging, sudden shock, and they can't keep up with all the things that are happening. Maybe maybe it's too many bakers. Too many cooks in the kitchen. Need to be upgraded as well. That seems to be going pretty all right, though. I think the turrets upstairs are doing some stuff, but I'm not too sure. Okay, I'm still, I'm still holding so much random shit. Hold on. If I run around here, the zombies should still go the same way as normal. I need to go drop off all my gubs in the everyday governance box. All right, you get out, you get out, you get out. All the things... No, I need you. All the things I don't need for Horde Knight. Get out of my pockets. All right, I've got my stuff. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. The bakers have been holding down the fort, it sounds like. I haven't seen anything come through. That was a copper that just exploded, so we're all right there. I've popped the other learning elixir, so that's now maxed out as much as I can. Might as well chuck in an extra coffee as well to keep me warm. And turn the fire back on, please. Got to use the ones on the side. You're going to need a little bit of fuel. There you go. I didn't bring my frames. I put them away. I mean, I don't even need to do anything anymore, do I? Like, am I just going to like, kind of help out the bakers? Like, they're going to soften up? Or it's like... When the coppers and things show, I can do the last little bit, but I mean, no one's no one's even got close. One nurse made it to the electric fences, but other than that, it's been a breeze. I'm definitely gonna be saying this way too soon, but I'm really surprised that there's not like abominable snowmans and things, and like the real like special like enemies and things, polar bears and whatnot, showing up during Horde. You would have thought a fair few of them would show, but I'm, like, I'm kind of grateful that they're not. Anytime it's like regular zombies like this, I feel like I've got it in the bag. Speaking in the bag, so there's a couple of loot bags around I'd like to get at the end of all this. Nah, DD, don't worry, little noggin about it. It's all good. It's all gravy. I forgot to put the doors down, but that's okay. We're fine. We're fine. As long as I stay here, I'm protected. Even though, like, this is ridiculously good and ridiculously OP, this is how seven days should be. There should be people you can make friends with, like allies you can find in the world and enemies you can find in the world. But you should be able to recruit people to come back and live with you. And even, like, for, like, the full, like, code around. I've talked about this a long time ago and many times before. Like, having, like, NPCs that can work at the workbench or help you out in other ways would just be so freaking cool. But also come and help defend on Horde Night and, like, make it less reliable on, um, like, car fighting and Horde bases and stuff like that. And, you know, you build up your base, you build up your community, you rebuild the world, and that's how you get through the game. You know, like, making partnerships and stuff like that would be such a cool extra dynamic but I really hope comes the game at some point at, in the future. Who bloody knows when. But like playing a mod like this and getting to experience it just makes me sadder that it doesn't actually exist in the normal version. Because it's so good. <laughs> it's such a good time. You can tell the game's really starting to struggle, boss. Because even like Fortnite zombies out there are starting to forget where, where they're supposed to be going, what they're supposed to be doing, or how to get to me in any sense of it. Even when I give them a tickle... They're still like, no, I'm good. I'm going to hang out over here instead. So the game's just trying to remember how to actually work. 
Catch you later, Coppo. That's all fine. I don't really mind too much as long as the bakers get through. That's way too far to be shooting with a shotgun there, Josh. It's a video game. It's basically a confetti cannon. You can't reach out even if you wanted to. I just like to try. I just like to try. The auto shotgun with a better rate of fire is so much better. There's quite a few of them now. I'm going to chuck a Molotov out there. Let them all burn on fire. As I slowly edge closer, at least a little bit burning now, a little bit softened up. I might even start going a bit old school. Lobbing a couple of grenades out there. That hit the zombie, not me, so that's all good. That cop is down. You need to get off my lawn, please. How you doing? You okay? You're fine. Upgrade these to steel was a great idea. That one was a complete accident. Let's pretend like it was deliberate, though. No, oh, copper. I just don't need you vomiting. My biggest issue now is just coppers vomiting and sometimes exploding. There's a fair bit of damage being done to the blocks, and if those blocks there get broken, well, then all the parting's going to break, and I'll be in a little bit stitched up. Maybe I should have spent my steel there as well. Ah, well, hindsight's always 20-20. This is the only form my vision that is. I think the bakers are doing just as good of a job as before. They are kind of facing the wrong way. Uh, they, they turn around to fire. Okay, so that's all good. I haven't seen much out of Baz in a little while, though. I mean, he was rolling the SMG, and he's my like, longest serving baker. The experience, I think, should count for a lot, but he's not really doing an awful lot. Although I can't tell what's the M60 firing, what's him firing, so... <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Um, you. Getting quick. This is why I didn't bring my steroids. Didn't bring my steroids. Huh? Didn't make the clutch jump. Didn't make the clutch jump. Gotta make it. Gotta make it. Gotta make it. Don't panic. Huh? Shit. Fuck balls. Baker's help. Baker's help. Um, I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do here. I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble. How the hell did that one super bloody thing fall out from underneath me? Of all the blocks. Of all the blocks. Why was it that one? Oh, God. Oh, God. Yep, get out of there, please. I'm chucking the first aid kit. I can't fucking see anything. Sneak through. Just get around. Get around. Do anything you need to. Stay alive. Go through here, I suppose. Just get out. Nope. That way. Come on, don't, don't crouch. Just kick it up and out, please. Fuck. That's the wrong thing. Get the snow out of my way with the shotgun. Uh-oh. 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 I'm gonna die. Ah! Oh my god, it's been so long since I died in the horde not like that. The whole base stayed standing except the one block I was standing on. What the fuck just happened to me? Oh my god, that's annoying. I can't, I can't believe that's how it went down. Come on, that's how I went down. Why didn't I have the steroids on me? I had the splits for exactly that reason. In case of broken legs, I usually carry that stuff. Why didn't I have my steroids? Where did they go? And what happened to me? I'm I'm shook. I'm absolutely shook. Um, th this series isn't permanent. I'm playing it overhaul mod. I'm just trying not to die wherever I can. What the? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! Right. So um. Bad news. <laughs> possibly the worst news you could possibly ever get. I'm on the other side of the world. I'm on the other side of the world. And I don't have any vehicle. I don't have any way to get back home. I can't run it because I'll freeze to death. Because I have no clothes. I'm Starkers. What am I going to do? How am I going to get back home again? No weapons, no clothes, no warmth, no DD, no bakers, no nothing. No food, no water, no supplies. Um, right. What the fuck am I going to do? I didn't leave anything here either. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. I took it all with me when I went back home because I was being a good little survivor boy and not leaving anything of value behind. Shh. Fuck a duck. Fuck so many ducks. Um, I, I, I honestly don't know what to do now. I honestly do not know what to do. I know I need fuel for my fire so I can keep myself warm because I'm already starting to freeze. But, I mean, the horde won't restart unless I pick a fight with the zombies, so I just won't do that for a little bit. And then what? Tomorrow, I've got to start making my way back home again? I I just, I just want to know why that one block 
that one block fell out from below me. The zombies can't reach that block, so there's no reason for it to break. It was made out of concrete. I just, I just want to... I'm gutted. And the fact that I'm spawned on the other side of the world, this is an utter disaster. At least I can burn the chairs. It's going to give me six and a half minutes of warmth. We're going to crown right up around it. So, okay. Clothing. How do I make clothing? Actually, hang on a second. Let the dust done. I need, I need sewing kits. I need sewing kits to make clothes. I might have to try and find some duct tape, but I can't... Oh, my God. Okay, so we're starting from scratch. Sick. I need to go outside and find a way to make... I'm going to save the fuel on you, actually. I need to find a way to make a stone sledgy. So I need wood. I need plant fiber. I need stones. I mean, look. I died. I deserve to be punished. That's fine. Spawning on the other side of the world with nothing is definitely punishment. This is going to take some work to try and overcome. But I'm going to have to leave this episode here. And then in the next episode... Try and find my way back home again. It's so far for me to go. Holy. Cool. Absolutely ridgy ditch there, Cobham. Love that for me. But I'll have to come back and try and find my way back home in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.